Adrian, what is it that you're so upset about? Well, I mean, the big problem for Don't Divide Us is actually the city where I live right now, Brighton, because it is the flagship of uh, injecting a critical race theory-based version of anti-racism into its schools. Can you tell us what critical race theory is for those who are, yeah. who are not aware? Well, critical race theory is a cluster of ideas which essentially are predicated on the idea that, um, in the case of Britain, that it is entrenched in what they would call systemic racism, something that is centuries old and hardwired into uh, everyday life and indeed into the untutored minds of ordinary people. It's also incredibly divisive. It's, it's more or less re-establishing racial divisions uh, in the name of anti-racism, which I think makes it very, very dangerous. Um, insofar as it pushes itself into schools, that is the, uh, that is the thing that we're pushing back against very hard in Brighton because uh, schools are the last place, I would say, that this should be happening. Kids are actually and have been for many, many years now uh, inventing a model of um, uh, an intrinsic model of anti-racism that could teach the adult world a thing or two. I mean, they, they, they do it every day. And uh, this kind of anti-racism uh, is divisive. It just divides them up. It's kind of su suggesting that... Um, White kids should feel a little bit guilty about themselves and that non-white kids are the victims of their own classmates. So in Brighton, the council uh, got triggered, I think, to use their own favourite term, in the summer of 2020 um, by the uh, killing of George Floyd 3,000 miles away, as though this had, this had changed something in the um, classrooms and playgrounds of Brighton and Hove schools. Uh, so in another word, I, I should I should just mm. say this isn't about Brighton. This is how, this is this is something that's a nationwide yeah an, a, a, a nationwide issue. I mean, is it is is it is it um, is it something that you know we we've got? I I sense that kids are being taught to be sort of ashamed of their country. You know, we've got so much to be proud of as a country, all the things that we've done and exported around the world, and yet there seems to be an agenda in lots of schools around the country of sort of in effect teaching kids just the bits that are the negative bits and saying, you know, you should be ashamed of our country for what we've done. Is that, is that, what, you, is that what you see in schools around the country? Well, that's coming into it. I mean, the, uh, the reason I, I'm reporting from Brighton really is because it's so explicit there. It's calling itself critical race theory explicitly. It is in, does indeed have an agenda to, um, to make kids kind of re-examine their uh, national identity and their... Uh, so, mo mo moving, well, we so moving away from Brighton, just yeah. to say, I mean, my concern is that we've got uh, many children now leaving school after 14 years of education, probably £100,000 having been spent on them, and many don't have the basics in, in education as they leave. We, we, we've seen that. We've seen these figures come through. So what I want to know is, instead of teaching going off and learning about, and it is only a theory, uh, their own theory, wouldn't we be better now spending more time with children to support them, particularly after the last two years of COVID, where they've maybe been at school, they've missed out on maths and English, wouldn't we be better giving them a love of a subject and bringing them all together rather than separating them out? Shouldn't that be the focus of all teachers across the country? Well, I, I couldn't have put it better myself, Esther. I mean, absolutely. There is nothing more um, unifying and intrinsically anti-racist, really, to have groups of kids from all different backgrounds and skin colours just coming alive in the classroom in relation to subject knowledge. And that is something that we used to do, and have, uh, teachers are doing that, it's just that be, it's being interfered with 